Since the dawn of time, I always have this fascination towards equalizer. No, not this one. Much better, but still no. There you go. Not as a tone control, but literally to equalize the frequency response. So when Monitor Audio Canada launched their new subwoofer with equalizer capability, I requested the Monitor Audio Amthrad W12. The subwoofer is packaged in a relatively compact cardboard box made of high quality box material. So no flimsy box over here. The Anthra W12 model number is printed on the box in a font that reminds me of Macintosh computer packaging. Unboxing it further, I immediately greeted by a 12 volt trigger cable and spike feet. Of course, just like any other monitor audio product, I was greeted by instruction Manuel. Hey Manuel! Hey cabron! Como estas? At the bottom of the subwoofer, you can see these four nubbins where you can screw on the spike feet if you want to. And yes, the cabinet is very shiny. And at the front of this enclosed subwoofer, you can see the cone with a lot of uh, dimples there. A signature design by Monitor Audio. There is a magnetic grill made of cloth that's included in the package. And here I am showcasing the piano finish of the subwoofer. And the finish is such perfection that even somebody like me who hates piano finish loved it. You can even see the reflection of my dog there. At the back there, there's a QR code telling you to scan it and download the app. There's an LCD screen, RCA input and output, 12 volt trigger and XLR input and output. Now let's power up the subwoofer using the cute multipurpose jog dial. Twirl, twirl, click, click. From there, you can change the volume, equalization, low pass filter and service if you're, you know, servicing the unit. There are five EQ presets available for this subwoofer. Movie if you want more boom, impact if you want more kick, and custom one, two, three that you can personally create using the Maestro Unite app. And as for low pass filter, you can filter it all the way up to 200 hertz. And now we move on to the Maestro Unite app, download it, install it, and a few moments later, BAM! You start the process of setting it up. And once it's connected via Bluetooth, on the EQ preset page, you can create custom one, two, three to your heart's desire. And I have a little bit of nit to pick. This subwoofer does not include automatic calibration system. So to level the playing field, I use my newly acquired DS speaker 8033S Mark II to flatten the frequency curve in my room. To review this unit, I use the soundtrack of Saw X that I purchased on Kaleidoscape, Oppenheimer on 4K Blu-ray disc, played on THX certified Panasonic UB9000 4K disc player, and Evil Dead Rise, also from Kaleidoscape. Demo scene after demo scene were played back faithfully with great bass, deep, solid, and quick with great poise and grandeur. No bloat, no slowness were registered in my observation. So based on my observation by watching a dozen movies, I really like this subwoofer. And at about $3,800 Canadian, you get a lot more than what you pay for. While this subwoofer is not designed for waking up your neighbors, there is still plenty of bass to fulfill a mastering studio reference monitoring which is not an easy task to achieve. And, and it looks beautiful too. Moreover, the subwoofer can double duty for both audiophile and home theater purposes, which makes it a great value. So what do you think about this video? What do you think about this sub? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe to my channel. So the next time I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.